And guess what? I've got a measure for what you're saying, Richard, and you, I'm going to give it to you afterwards, okay? Money velocity. Mm -hmm. Money velocity tells you when money's being invested productively and then reinvested and when it's not and it's going more into unproductive investments or speculation. Guess how long money velocity has been crashing in most countries around the world? Well, it's since a function the mid to of, late 1990s, since all these bubbles started. Well, it's a function of interest rate. So when they rate, I mean, they literally raise interest rates to reduce money velocity, to make it harder to get money, to lower prices so prices don't rise. So like if... if, if no, 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 I, I'm disagreeing with you. It's actually the opposite. They have pushed interest rates increasingly lower, lower, lower. So money's free. So when something's free, it gets abused. People just speculate right. with it. It's easy. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like the, the lower like, interest rates have caused that, not well, higher. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Money is velocity when they want to slow is totally it down. consistent with falling interest rates artificially below what inflation yeah. rates would say I, they I should. I agree with everything, which you is said. easily measured. Yes, I agree with all that. I was saying that when the Fed wants to stop and slow down the money velocity to slow down rising prices, they increase interest rates to suck money out of the economy to get it locked yeah. into savings accounts. And they do the opposite sure. when they want to flood the, the market with activity to try and make up for a pandemic or whatever they feel like they need to make up for, then they reduce interest rates to zero. And in some countries, negative, which is hilarious. So you... you and and uh, let me let me just go there. That is what I would describe as the maybe single most unproductive function in the entire economy. I think we would do just fine with no central banks, period, except emergency funds when you get in a real crisis short term. All they do is tinker with the economy and jerk people around and do all this stuff and add not only yeah. no value, but more volatility, which actually takes value out. But there's hidden there's hidden upside to the American populace from this. So when like America, what? well, when America is the reserve currency of the world and has debt and trade imbalances with other countries, when they devalue the dollars that they owe other people, they just pay them back with fake money and then we get more for nothing. Like when the Asians are willing to work eight out, you know, 16 hours a day, six days a week, someone benefits from that. And it's everyone else that's getting their products, iPhone users, right? So like the first world and the rich people is sucking the life out of the poor people in the third world through this inflationary tactics. The rich get richer, the poor get poorer, everything. If you're a high school graduate and you want to buy your house, you're fucked. You're not going to ever be able to buy a house. Ever. Exactly. Because... Another good reason for a bubble to burst. So, it, so the millennials will be able to afford to buy a house in the future. They have no chance of making yeah. money on stocks at these rates or buying a house and making. I money. just, I just don't think they're going to let it burst. I think they'd rather see the the value of the dollar. Okay, Richard. Then, then let's let's play this forward. Okay, the bubble mm -hmm. keeps going up, up, up. Have you sure. noticed the trajectory of it? It's called exponential. Mm -hmm. You think the market can double? and double and double yep. and double so that it's worth um, oh, right now financial assets by the way, i just quote you a real number mm -hmm. 6.5 times global gdp stocks bonds and real estate yeah sure 6.5 times you know what normal is you know Maybe. you know that's the warren buffett indicator you're quoting right <laughs> uh it's one of them <laughs> yeah but it's called the warren buffett indicator the ratio of stock prices to GDP. i don't care